Hi, my name is Vinay and in this video I will demonstrate the Protinter module of Microwind which is used to simulate the MOS characteristics. So when you open Microwind, it uh, starts with the default 14 nanometer technology rule file. So I will ask him to change it to 45 uh, nanometer file. So you can go to select foundry and uh, select a 45 nanometer rule file. Okay. So let's say you want to generate an NMOS transistor. So click on MOS generator, select NMOS. You can specify the width and the length of the NMOS transistor. So this will produce the amount of drain current in through the transistor. So for example, if I make it to 400, the current will almost double to it. Okay. So right now it is producing 330 milliampere of current, okay, 0.33 milliampere of current, 330 microamperes. Okay. So let's say you generate this and place on the clipboard. So the question pops up that how he makes uh, that amount of current computation and what parameters he takes into account. Okay. So this is what is called as MOS model. And uh, to know about this, I can refer the user manual of Microwind, which is stored in uh, the install folder. You can go to program files and uh, Microwind, and you should find a user manual over there. So it's the same file. So if you look on the, the chapter, the MOS device, so this chapter talks about the the, the builder uh, the about MOS devices, their behavior, the simulation, and even the MOS model. So if you go to this MOS model page, so it helps us to know about how the softwares compute the current computation or how exactly the modeling of the MOS transistors be made. So as we all know, that transistors operate in three uh, mode of operation, like cutoff, linear, and saturated, and these are the condition in which they work. So the drain current computation is done on the basis of in which mode they are working. So for example, in the cutoff mode, the drain current is almost zero or it's a negligible current. Okay. So although there is a leakage current, but as of now it is considered mathematically as zero. So whereas in saturated, the current computation is based on this. So when we say that the drain current is proportional to W by L ratio, so that's true. So the most of the current comes from W and L ratio, but obviously uh, it also depends on the voltages which are being applied on the gate, the threshold voltage, the oxide thickness, the permeability uh, of the materials and the mobility of the material that is the carrier mobility which is epsilon zero, um, mu zero. Okay. So the current will be calculated or computed according to these conditions. Okay. So this is an level one of the MOS. So this is like uh, the number of parameters which are taken into account to compute this. Right now this values and figures of the table you see for the 45 nanometer rule file. So the values will change for every technology rule file. So for example the threshold voltage is close to 0.18 volt. The carrier mobility is 0 0.016 meter square per volt second and the oxide thickness is around 3.5 nanometer. Okay. So how these parameters affect the drink current that can be observed in Macaulay also. So this is an NMOS transistor. So you click on this graph looking like symbol. So this is simulating of the MOS characteristics. So you can see that it plots a graph. So right now this is in the BSIM4 model. We also have level 3 and also the level 1. So right now we come back to level 1. So here you can see that it shows a threshold voltage the mu zero which is 0 0.016 the oxide thickness okay so right now it is set to 2 nanometer so 5.15 gamma and 0.4 so here is the plot of the id versus vd uh, graph so here you can specify uh, the voltages or the control the voltage for example if you just increase the gate voltage you can see the dot over there so it shows the current will increase uh, proportionally to the change in gate voltage. Now if you, uh, okay, I just bring it somewhere over here. Yeah. 
Now, if you reduce the drain voltage, so you can see that this is in the linear region. Right now, it is in the cutoff. So you see that there is no voltage in the drain. So obviously, it will go back into cutoff region. And the current is over here. So the drain current is zero. Now, as you increase the drain I mean, voltage, so you can see the current, the drain current linearly increases. So it has a linear behavior with the drain voltage and it will keep that linear behavior till it crosses the gate voltage. Once it crosses the gate voltage, it goes into saturation region, okay. So this is what is being over here. So it's the VGS minus VT. So once that difference is there, okay. So VDS is, if VDS is greater than VGS minus VT, it will go into saturation. So if the VDS is greater than this, this volume somewhere over here, yeah, okay, somewhere over here, so it goes into saturation region, okay. So this is now in the, the current is shows in saturation region of the operation, okay. Now you can also see the effect of the oxide thickness. For example, if I reduce the oxide thickness, you can see the current increases, the graphs increases, okay. Whereas if I increase the oxide thickness, the current will decrease. But to an extent after that, it becomes also saturated, okay. And the same effect you can see in the simulation performance also. You can modify the threshold voltage, okay. And you can see that as the threshold voltage increases, the current decreases, okay. So you can make such study of operation of the transistors or the MOS simulation of their characteristics. So you can plot ID versus VG graph, okay. You can see the logarithmic view of the gate voltage and the drain logarithmic view of drain current and versus the uh, gate voltage you can see threshold voltage of different types of transistor configurations like high voltage low leakage or high speed okay okay this will be another So this is the MOS characteristics viewer. You can even see the same weaving uh, viewer uh, for the PMOS transistor. So you have to click this one and select the PMOS transistor. Now the currents, everything are shown for P channel. So you can just, and if they are, you can click on PMOS, yeah. You can click on PMOS and you can see the difference in both the plots of NMOS and PMOS transistor types. Okay. So this is about mass characteristics. We also call this a flow tutor. So this you can make use uh, for learning of the uh, mass characteristics and the mass models, how they make difference in understanding on the calculations of the drain current. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.